I said I would never buy mules. Mules with fur or shoes with fur or love on mania shoes. What's up guys, it's Wilma Kaysen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a return family member here or just a return viewer, I appreciate you guys so much. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome aboard. At the end of this video, I would love for you to consider joining our YouTube family here. You can do so by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I load new content. In today's video, yes, you read the title right. I picked up a pair of Gucci Princetown loafers from DSW.com. Yes, DSW.com. A lot of people that I've chatted with do not know that there are certain times throughout the year, maybe other, every other year, where DSW does offer luxury shoes. I've seen Prada shoes there. I personally have purchased Gucci shoes from the DSW store. They're already discounted, and then I also purchased something, two pair of Gucci shoes, I believe, that was on clearance from, DS, from the DSW store. So definitely keep your eye on them for luxury purchases. In the future, I'll tell you that I picked this up with the help of a personal shopper. Her name on Instagram is Iris Fashionista. She's amazing. She's my friend. She's phenomenal. I reached out to her initially to try to source a pair of Gucci sandals, which she found, thank God, and they're on their way. So look out for an unboxing of those. And after she sourced those for me, I was I reached out to her about these and I said, you know what, since I have a personal shopper now, let me just reach out to her and see if she can help me source these and it was it took a couple days and they seem to be, now they are sold out worldwide officially unless they get back in stock on DSW's website or somewhere else, eBay, Macari, whatever. But um, brand new, this is the last hurrah, I believe. I will tell you guys the story after I show them to you because I'm sure you're dying inside to see what they look like. So, I opened the box because I was going to just reveal these to you and then I said, you know what, I haven't done a true unboxing on my channel in a long time. So yes, the box is opened, but this is a true unboxing. Paperwork and this is just my receipt and all that information. It tells you how much the shoes cost, which I will go over with you guys momentarily. A FedEx return label. Okay, let's get to what you all came for. And that is this right here. It is these, this Gucci box and voila. It has the shoe information here. And when you open the box, this is what we see. First is the, oh, there's Gucci like control cards, care cards. Then it has their Gucci dust bags, which I just love. I love these dust bags are so silky smooth. And then you guys, the main event. Ah! Oh my God. These are so beautiful. I picked up the Gucci monogram Princetown loafers in this beautiful wool with the fur. Oh my God. These things are freaking stellar, you guys. I can't get over it. Okay, okay. So this part of the shoe here, the toe cap and up to this portion, this is all wool. It does have the Gucci gold horse bit detail here, which is secured by two leather tabs on each shoe. It does have the fur trim here and on the inside of the shoe. The inner sole does say Gucci made in Italy on a leather sewn in patch. And the sole of the shoe just looks like this. I love the newness of a new shoe. Oh my God. And they smell good too. You know that new shoe smell is just, oh, nothing beats that smell. So I will tell you the story about how I got these. So when I, when she reached out to me and said, DSW has the shoes, go get them now. This is when the shoes were $399. Now, I logged on to DSW's website and they only had, they had an eight and a nine. I felt like I needed a nine because I'm not sure about you guys, but I feel that Gucci's shoe sizing is all over the board. Um, I have some seven and a half, some sevens. Most recently, I have two pairs of sandals from their newer, from this newer line of Gucci, that's a size nine. 
so I didn't know if they if they restructured their sizings or what but I thought I needed the 9 in this but I couldn't get the 8 or the 9 they were both sold out they hadn't updated their inventory so I thought I missed out on it but you guys know I'm cray cray so I kept that browser window open on my phone and kept refreshing every day with the hopes that it would pop back up on the website and that it did about a week and a half later but it only had a size 8 which are these and I was like I really feel like I need the 9 especially because it's lined with fur I thought that the fur was going to cause me to need to go up a size in the shoe or at least what the last size that I got right so I ordered the 8 and then they said it was shipping that the next day. Of course I wake up the next day because I'm crazy and I refreshed on the website. The size 9 was available, size 11 was available, not that I need 11 but you know they had a couple more sizes so I think the 8 was the first of the new shipment that came in and because I, I moved quickly I got the 8 so I immediately called DSW, tried to get them to go down to the shipment department and to put a halt on the size 8. They couldn't, it had already left the warehouse. A couple days later, I received these. I don't know if I should have got received the nine, if I should have purchased the nine. I can't go back now because if you go on DSW's website, it's like not even a trace that they were ever even there. It says no Gucci product is currently available. And when I purchased these a couple weeks ago, they had like 30 different styles, men and women, sneakers, shoes, sandals. So, um, Either these work or they don't. <laughs> but uh, they're really, really nice. I'm going to try them on and let you guys know what I think of them. After trying them on they do feel like the perfect fit I always tend to think that when you wear slides or mules that you should have some room like behind your heel and that is not the case everyone tells me they should be the perfect fit or there should be the tiniest bit of space from the back of your heel to the back of the shoe and that is the case with this it is a perfect fit at a size 8 with the fur trimmed lining now like I said I'm typically a 7 7 and a half in Gucci depending on the shoe um, so the fact that I have an 8 in this it is what most people are saying that you do need to go up a half a size or a whole size in this now these are only offered in whole sizes like 8 9 or 10 which is why I went with the 8 as opposed to like an 8 and a half maybe they fit true to size like, I guess I was wrong. They do fit true to size. Um, I did try them on without socks. I feel like you do feel your foot slipping a bit when you walk. I feel like socks would help in that department, but I also feel like socks would not help visually. Okay, so do what you want, but I feel like these are meant to be worn without socks. Um, I've seen people wear them with socks, and it's a, it's a different personal taste. Totally personal taste. I purchased these to wear inside because I just couldn't see myself wearing them outside. But I feel like I need to flex a little bit and rock these outside. I said I would never buy mules. Mules with fur or shoes with fur. Or Logomania shoes. Shoes that have the logo all over them. And here I am today. And I'm so excited to have these, you guys. I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of them outside, but I promise you that as soon as I put some miles on these, I don't know if it's going to be a lot of miles, but as soon as I put some miles on these, I will definitely come back and let you guys know what I think. Off the bat, they're beautiful shoes. I don't know. Again. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you guys know these eyes of mine. Virgo eyes are the worst, okay? We pick up everything. Now, I'm looking at this fur trim right here. And I don't know if you guys know, if you, if you guys see somebody with a really bad weave, now there's lace fronts where it's seamless and it blends from the, the base of the, of the weave or wig to your skin and your makeup, right? And then there's when people can't afford that. They just lay a track dead smack in the middle of their forehead and you see the track and the glue and everything. The ghetto. I want to show you guys what this looks like. So 
I feel like th this should be up like this. Instead, I see this seam, which I should not. That's rather tacky. I'm gonna have to break out. Do I have to break out the hot comb or the flat iron? <laughs> um, ooh, and this side is even worse. They just laid that poor track on the side there. Oh my goodness. And see, on the other shoe, it's not like that. The other shoe is perfectly fine, you guys. It's, it's hidden, you can't see it, it looks natural. That is what it's supposed to look like. I'm not supposed to be able to see anyone's seam or anything. That looks really, really good on that shoe. So because I'm anal, you guys know I'm gonna reach out to Gucci and see if I can send these back to get relined or just have that one side lined again. I'm not even sure if that's an offering from them, especially since I ordered from a third party site. DSW. Um, I don't know. These are uncharted waters for me. I will reach out and I will give you guys an update on these the next time you see these in a video of mine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about the, the track debacle. <laughs> um, I hope you all are staying well. Stay safe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.